I'm in Ibiza now and uh, for the season it all starts and uh, apart from the clubs which I love also, I mean I love the island in itself, I like driving around, I like finding new places and, and places to, to chill out and get up into the mountains sometimes and just, uh, just enjoying the view. Um, one of, I think, is one of the best places in the world because it's a, an amazing quantity of people coming from everywhere. Special places around the world I guess where were considered special where people have the best time of their lives. For me, I'd be so if you really want to have a really good club time, and then this is the place. Something that makes you proud because it works, no? So the people they still come in from everywhere else in the world, uh, all the DJs they hear, all the DJs they want to be here, the best promoters they are around. That's why it's about the melting pot, it's about the mix, and the, 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 the more of the mix, the location whether it be Copanyan or, or Buenos Aires or any, anywhere. It's, it's about the energy that people create when they mix together. That's, that's what it's all about. You are Space está funcionando sea de noche que de día, pero primordialmente ha sido un after hour, el más famoso del mundo. En un sitio como Ibiza, eh, lo mejor que le puede sacar, pasar a una cámara es coger la imagen de la gente por la mañana con luz. Yo creo que todo eso ha marcado mucho la diferencia entre Space y las otras discotecas aquí en Ibiza. El tema de la luz del día.
the new terrace is it's a phenomenon really I mean uh, when they said they was going to uh, build a new, a new room and uh, they, they was going to you know, make it make it special change everything I, I just thought they was just gonna you know maybe redesign the existing room not completely make something completely new uh, within what they had as a structure because the thing is that the terrace was, has always been legendary from when it started you know people book their holidays just to come to the terrace, not even go inside <laughs> or anything. And that is their holiday. It's made, they're made up if, if they were able to experience that. But the fact they've actually really uh, made something spectacular, very, very special. Nice to hear a good sound system now on the terrace. I think they've kept the idea of that you can still look out of the club in a way to make you feel like you're still dancing under the stars. Oh, it's absolutely amazing what they've done here. Uh, it's just become an amazing music venue now. It started really with Brandon Block and Alex P. Uh, they have been clients here in the club, have been friends with uh, the owner, Pepe Rosselio. And one day they, they asked and they said, why you don't make a dance floor or a small club on the terrace? Because the terrace before was only used as, uh, as a bar. And it was really a small, tiny place. And then they started to play music against the wall. They did not even face the, uh, the, the crowd. And with the time, it went bigger, went more successful, and the terrace really got a very uh, famous part of the club. The style of the terrace is very minimal. It's a new style here on the island, um, quite modern. We did not use the normal materials which normally are used here in Ibiza for bars or for clubs except the stone wall uh, next to the DJ booth, the rest we try to be very modern. The DJs that have played here so far, there's been no complaints. There's been only good things to speak about. The brand new, fantastic, cutting edge, new Space Terrace. Obviously remember, this is now one of the only clubs in Ibiza that does actually have windows where you can actually peer from inside the club, outside to what's going on. I think this is showing a complete new era in what space has to offer to the people that come to the club. I think that we are now setting a new standard of where clubbing is going to be going in the future. I personally have played on this terrace and when you've played on this terrace, the new terrace, in that cabin and you have around about 2,000 people staring back at you with their hands in the air screaming absolute madness then you get to feel and appreciate and understand what Fritz and Pepe at Space have endeavoured to do and endeavoured to change the way that people think, look and want clubbing to be for the future.
in Ibiza, I've been coming to Ibiza for a long time and the natural thing to do before home opened up in London um, was to was to approach space and a key person in, in that crucial was Danny Whittle. Um, Danny came to work with me at home uh, and in t really together he, I, I've got to say it was Danny's idea to approach them to do a 22 hour party. I wanted to be there um, on Sundays, it was all, always a special place to me, nowhere like it. And I had a natural impulse that it, it, some, I could work there. And with Danny, we started. We started in '90. We did the first. Uh, we did the first summer as home at space on Sundays in '99, and it worked. It, 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 it was 
it took a while to get people used to 22 hours, but it worked. So we had two summers of home and space then. When I was sitting down, talking to people, coming up with names. Um, and what, what, what can you do? Why, why put another brand? You know, we love space is, was the natural, the natural name for it. And that's what it became. So in 2001, it became We Love, we love Sunders at Space. We Love, well, I, I go back with We Love a long way. Um, I used to work with Darren Hughes many, many years ago. I was a resident for Home in Leicester Square, which um, was the original um, promotion of Darren Hughes, who used to be in Cream. So I've been working with We Love since day one. Uh, nasty, maybe, dirty sex music. nasty Dirty Sex Music. The, the trick behind Nasty Dirty Sex Music was um, to play only very extreme German and London sounds really, not Ibiza music, you know? Yeah, with the music for Nasty Dirty Sex Music, we kind of found that, that, that a lot of people in London and, and Berlin were embracing electro and no one was really playing it in Ibiza. And we thought, you know, it was time that we kind of pushed forward a bit because we were a bit sick of doing the same old time. Ibiza's quite conservative, isn't it? Yeah, you know, so um, we were really surprised our opening night. We played quite extreme music and, you know, weird stuff. Very extreme. People really got into it and loved it and it, it was what people wanted to know, so I wanted to share. So. So I took the whole concept and luckily we got to play in space last year as well. Yeah. We should ne on. never never patronise your customers, people always want the best. And I think when you you start a night, people think that they should play Ibiza music, you know, whatever that is. And we just thought we should play really good music. And it worked. I'd heard rumblings about Dan, this amazing DJ, you have to hear him, to, you, you've got to come and hear him. To, anyway, what I did, we had a cancellation, Green Velvet cancelled, we contacted Dan, asked him to play the bus, well, he came, wow, like, amazing. So I had two or three other cancellations, Dan did the lot, so we did plenty, three or four times last year. And I knew after one set that I wanted him to be a resident this year. What I really like in space is the fact that uh, it's, a, it's a big melting pot of music and DJs. Uh, you, you can play after techno DJ or house DJ and uh, people are more expecting that you play your sound and uh, there's more, it's more like you um, you show what you have, what you do, and what you represent more than the unity in the music. Uh, I'm very happy to be a resident for for We Love Sunday because uh, they they give the op they give me the opportunity first to express myself, but it's the um, it's the proof that the music is really changing on the island. We love the space. We'll just carry on. We'll carry on trying to make it the best place, the best place for people to have the best time of their lives that, that, we, that we can. You know, There's, that's that's my ambition. I hope I'm here in 20 years' time, telling you the same thing.
year now on Tuesday and uh, and people came back for more and more you know it's it's I'm really happy and proud of it you know and uh, this year I I found a lot of people have moved on musically from their sound of what what we used to play we used to play a lot more tech house a lot more techno now it's a lot more electronic and and still a lot more house music being played Um, it's just like a new movement of music that's happening then and and uh, and we have to move along with that um, but people, it just seems to be a lot more international pe- people coming off from all over because they're still here that Tuesday is a really good night to come to. Uh, but it's always a great challenge just to see what people really want to hear and see how far I've moved on with my music. Uh, and uh, it, was, it was a definite change from last year in, the, in its sound to what we listen to now. And I think that because it has such a stronghold, this, this kind of piece of sound, that you know, some people can't see beyond that sound. And, and the thing is, create a new a new concept of sound or things that you won't normally hear in your basic and uh, and and get people interested in listening to something different and I think that's the key about keeping this island alive is hearing something different and pushing everything forward and I think this year it, it's been a definite definite musical standpoint uh, standpoint where people now I think are up for listening to something different if you still have your conceptual house sound but 21st century of house music is coming and and, and the thing is about it, it's, it's something which we can't ignore. It's really it's something which is uh, uh, interesting a lot of people who, who are now kind of revitalised into getting back on the dance floor again. Mr. Drums, come on.
Doing? My name's Judge Jules, here actually for the second time this week, because earlier this week I played at Alex P's birthday party. We're now back here on a Saturday night for the Radio 1 Big Shindig, which, uh, as you can probably see from the people in the background, and bear in mind we're only in the small area, the upstairs uh, premier etage, uh, has been an extremely successful night. Space, of course, is legendary, and um, I think, like most people, I've been very impressed with the developments that have been made to the club this this over the winter period. You know, a lot of people were very sceptical when they said they'd uh, covered over the terrace. Would it be as good? Would they have thought about it? And I think uh, I can say, for those of you who haven't visited the new terrace, that everybody's suspicions have totally been allayed. Hello, this is Rob Bank reporting from the space rooftop. Pete Tong is down there banging it out. We are over here for Radio 1, 10 years in Ibiza, believe it or not. Thousands of people in there going crazy. The whole new uh, space terrace, which I haven't even seen properly yet, but it looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm about to stop because it is just going so mad. I don't know if you can see through the, uh, the window. That's like... <laughs> About 5,000 people, all with their hands in the air. Pete Tong live on wonderful Radio 1. Salut, my name is Bob Sinclair. I come from Paris. I would like um, to say thank you to invite me tonight at Space. Uh, I made a new track. My new single is um, is going to be out after the summer, so I test it tonight. It's called Love Generation. I had a big reaction, and uh, I would like to thank you for that. To let me play at Space. It's my first year here at Space, and I had the chance to. Um, to uh, to see um, both sides of space. The first one, apparently the old one, was already amazing, but really rough. And uh, what you did, uh, it's um, simply amazing. The people are... What I can say, it's hard to talk about space because to be a DJ, it's just a dream to play there. So um, 
You can play what you want, I can play my music, and uh, I say, uh, everybody, thank you for that. It was Pop Sinclair. no para de ganar premios es una uno cosa tras otro, ¿no? yo creo uno que se lo merecen también ¿no? sí, ganó el año pasado en Miami mejor discoteca del mundo bueno yo pienso que en Ibiza durante durante tres cuatro meses que la temporada tenemos los jockeys los mejores jockeys del mundo no tanto de, de varios tipos de música no tanto ya busques house como busques techno como busques pues esto que Ibiza durante tres meses es Música y música y música, 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 música y música. Durante tres meses se, se concentra, o sea, todo, ¿no? Lo que puedes encontrar, ya sea en Inglaterra, ya sea en Alemania, ya sea en, en otras partes del mundo, la tienes aquí.
you know, obviously space is definitely the club to play at. It's a special place. The range of DJs you've got playing, you've got everything from electro to tribal. So whatever kind of music you're into, you can come to space, you know, and you can hear your DJ, you can hear your sound. And for me, it's really special to come and play with DJs who play all different kinds of music. The music uh, selection is actually really quite eclectic. So it's really nice. I mean, you get like all sorts of people from the house scene, people from the electro scene, people from the rock scene, you know, all come into one place. And it's really nice to actually be in a venue full of all these different genres of music and all these different kinds of people. And we're at the space closing fiesta. Fiesta! <laughs> and parties do not get any bigger than this. This is space and we are having a good time. Hello space, hello space man. It's a fucking great party here. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. Cool. The biggest closing party, the end of the season, all happens here at space. I think space is fucking fabulous. <laughs> I have to cry really. So emotional. It's a great, great party tonight. It's the last party of the summer. Eh, ce soir c'est la meilleure partie du monde. Si vous n'êtes pas là, vous allez tout manquer. It's one of the greatest events in the music world. I think it's great. Ibiza is perfect. Closing party, space. Space. Absolutely. Absolutely nice party. Good music, good people, and very beautiful men. Come out here and party with the rest of us. You know you want to. We love space. It's the best club in the whole world, and the music's fantastic. It's the best party in the whole world because people from all over the world come here to space closing and it's absolutely awesome. Yeah, it's a wonderful evening. It's fucking awesome, it's amazing. More DJs, more people, everybody's smiling. Just words can't come, come out how excited I am. It's a fantastic atmosphere and only here you find this. Very excited, very, very excited. Another really good and one. And it's great. Yeah, it's great. All the best DJs come here. And all the best clubbers come here. The best. It rocks. Yes, it rocks. it rocks. It does rock, doesn't it? <laughs> we love it. We love it. Yeah. You love it. Yes. Yeah. Hello, I'm Fritz from Space. I'm the director here of the club. Right now, you have a look to the car park. This is our special occasion, what we have for the opening and closing. We had a very good summer here in Space, and I'd like to thank you, all the people who came to Ibiza and who visit Space, and made us, again, a very big and a successful summer here. Um, a party like this is very unique. All of us are very happy right now because we are finishing Ibiza with the biggest party on the island. So thanks a lot for coming and we see you 2006. Okay, bye.
big lover of Ibiza. It's it's nice to come here in the winter when you can see the uh, the oranges on the trees, smell the almond blossom, and it's a wholly different place. And uh, I fell in love with here not for not just for the way it is in the summer season, which of course is unique anywhere in the world, but just for the beauty and the tranquility of the place. And uh, I thoroughly recommend it. Not so much in the way of club action, but plenty for relaxation and uh, chilling out and a general vibe. When all this is over on uh, on Sunday morning. I'll get, I'll get straight away from here, you know, I'll go up to Benaras Beach, go and sit on the beach, watch the drummers at, at sunset, have a paella, um, have some rosé wine, and for me that's as much about, as you know, what Ibiza is about as as all the raving, you know, it's, it's brilliant, there's a great scene over here, but the true spirit of Ibiza is, you know, the, the beautiful people who live here, the amazing food, the beaches, the sunsets, and um, yeah, that's, that's the magic of Ibiza. Again. It's always a pleasure to be here. I think for clubbing wise, there still isn't anywhere like this in the world. There isn't. And I've been all over the world, you can take it from me. Our beef is still rocks and uh, it's great to be a part of it. So I'm just hoping to see you guys here because it's still the best place in the world to be.